everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Samsung Galaxy View. Priced at $599 US, but already reduced to $499 for the holiday season, this brand new 18.4-inch Android tablet, and yes, you heard correctly, it's got an 18.4-inch display, 1080p resolution, so no 2K or 4K options here, uh, but all of the specifications I'm about to go over really do reflect the price point. You've got a 1.6 gigahertz octa-core processor, 2 gigs of RAM to complement that, 32 gigs of internal storage, a micro SD card slot, and a front-facing 2 megapixel camera. No rear camera on this device. There's actually a handle built into this for carrying it around and uh, essentially changing its uh, different viewing angles or positions. Uh, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything that you'd expect from a fantastic media consumption device. In many ways, this will be compared to the iPad Pro, even though it's really, in my opinion, a much more competent product when it comes to being a very large tablet, which is all the iPad Pro is, after all. And you might be wondering, why would someone even want this? Well, again, it's about content consumption, and Samsung is betting that you know, you are going to be interested in this. Now, the box is huge. Uh, I can't even get all of it in frame. You may have noticed that already. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this open. And, you know, at the price, you are not getting amazing internals. That's something I want to point out. I would have liked to have seen uh, better specifications. Uh, but I do think that considering this comes in at a price point we traditionally see, you know, 10-inch tablets at, that has to be taken into account. Remember, this display is not an AMOLED like we would traditionally get from Samsung. We're working with uh, a TFT LCD, so we're not getting, you know, that AMOLED experience that Samsung does often bring to the table. That's another thing I want to mention. I don't think that's going to be a game breaker of sorts, but it's still something worth pointing out. I'm having some trouble with the size of this box. You may have already noticed, so I'm going to have to change course here. But uh, right off the bat, first thing I can see is a power cable. And uh, by the way, when it comes to battery life, this is the brick right here. You're looking at, I think it's a 3700. Let me check. It's right here on the side of the box. It is a, excuse me, 5700 milliamp battery. So uh, I think it's quoted at being 8 to 10 hours. But there's the brick, relatively large. And after all, this isn't really meant to be... A mobile device uh, the idea is that it's going to sit where you want it to and you can carry it comfortably we've got some paperwork here on the left hand side but I want to get this out of the way so let's remove this styrofoam out it comes and put that down and there you can see the purple plastic, which is the tablet itself. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And as I mentioned before, it does have its own, uh, essentially, a case built onto it, uh, which you'll see in a moment as I'm trying to wrangle this thing, attempting without knocking too much over. And it is a very large device, by the way. Uh, those of you wondering about weight, you're looking at five pounds, which I don't think is too bad. Nothing else in the box, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this now. But again, I don't think five pounds is too bad. I think that, realistically speaking, for a tablet of this size, of this nature, five pounds is relatively light, especially when I think about the uh, 18 and a half inch uh, similarly sized screen Dell uh, that I reviewed in the past, which of course was a PC, not simply a tablet, but still, this thing is a monster. So away goes the packaging, and finally we're looking at the tablet itself. Now this is one of the positions you can use right out of the box. Um, demonstrated, you can see as I flip it over here, uh, the handle that I was mentioning, some Samsung branding. Uh, solid feel all around. This has like a almost a ballistic nylon type feel, I would say, texture on the back. Samsung has been very focused over the last several years about uh, improving build quality reputation and right now at least first glance this thing looks rock solid. I, I mean there's definitely plastic employed but nothing feels uh, as if it was or you know corners were cut is the way I will put it. On the top left side right there you should be able to see the power button and volume rocker as well as a pinhole microphone. 
On the front, there is a camera. Again, I believe it's 2.1 megapixels. No rear camera here. And then the way that you convert this into travel mode is you simply flip this plastic piece and now you have a handle that you can grab and carry this around in this nature. I mean, not the most brilliant thing, but certainly something that I think is worth, uh, you know, use. I mean, it actually is functional. Uh, it appears there's already plastic on the screen. That's why you're seeing the Samsung Galaxy View branding. Uh, on the left side, I'm not seeing anything. On the right side, some things to point out right here. We have uh, several ports. Uh, we have the charging port, uh, micro USB port and headphone jack. And I can also see what appear to be either stereo speakers or ventilation right here under uh, the back cover slash stand slash carrier, uh, everything, you know, essentially that you want to call it. Uh, and really it comes down to whether or not you need something like this in your home. As I mentioned before, uh, some people do, you know, desire something like this to replace, let's say a kitchen TV, something of that sort. I'm going to power it up. And, you know, while I wish this was an AMOLED, that's really not the purpose of the product. It's all about, as I said, having a mobile display anywhere you want it and having it be networked, uh, usable, and practical. And I think that this accomplishes it. Now, I didn't notice where the micro SD card slot is, uh, but I'm sure that I will find it at some point. I'm looking around the body again, and I don't see it. Uh, I know it's there though, and if I go ahead and flip this to this mode again, you know, again, we're just changing our perspective of how we're actually uh, using it. And I'm going to take this, you know, put it through the paces, test it out, let you all know what I think of screen quality, practicality, you know, is this going to really be a great streaming device? You know, in theory, it should be. Uh, even though it doesn't have a best-in-class processor, it doesn't have uh, a lot of RAM, only two gigs of RAM, and I don't even know why you'd want a rear camera, but for those of you that are going to be disappointed by the fact that we don't have a rear camera, I really don't see that much of an issue. So right now, at least from at first glance, this thing seems to be what so many of you have been waiting for. The only thing I might mention that I wish Samsung would have done is have pen integration. I know a lot of artists out there would love to have the ability to ink on a canvas this large. Maybe that's something they have uh, in store for us down the road. I wouldn't be surprised with higher end internals and a much higher price point, because again, we're looking at something that traditionally is what we would see uh, a high end 10 inch tablet fall into that 499 price, even though it seems to be a temporary sale price, we'll see uh, as time passes. Uh, but there you have it again, uh, the first 18.4 inch a 1080p tablet of its kind, and really, in my opinion, a much better concept than what the iPad Pro represents, which really offers a negligible uh, amount of screen real estate uh, when compared to a traditional iPad. Here we have a product that clearly differentiates what its intent is, which is media consumption, streaming, you know, being a TV. I wish it had HDMI in. It does not. Maybe that's another thing Samsung will think about down the road. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.